Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Just in case you're new here, my name is Keisha and I make YouTube videos pretty much every day. I also blog every day at kjaggers.com. The link is below. It's usually bobbing around up top too. So I am back today with my household favorites for May? May, I think. And I have a lot of stuff so I need to get right into it. But I post these videos every month to share the products I've been using that I've been liking, maybe not liking, and maybe sharing some items with you that maybe you haven't seen before or haven't tried. So this is my household favorites and I have my beauty favorites coming up tomorrow. And I'm hoping if it's pretty enough weather, we'll do it outside. So let's just jump right into it. Laundry wise, um, I have still just been using my cheer. Now I made a new batch of laundry detergent that I'm going to be sharing the recipe on this channel with you um, in the coming days. But I still love cheer. It's making my clothes much brighter. It smells amazing. I think I get this for like $12, this really big one, and it lasts close to two weeks. It really depends. Sometimes it goes quicker than others, other weeks, but I really like it and I'm going to continue using it. The only thing is, is I don't find the coupons for this like I do the Tide. So I do kind of miss that, but I love cheer and I've been using it for a while. So for the longest time, I have raved about the Method Dish Soap and the Mrs. Myers. Both of these are equally lovely. This one has the best scent I think I've ever smelled, which is geranium. And this one is the um, Sea Minerals which also smells amazing. But I couldn't, this one I couldn't find, and this one was out of stock um, at my local store, so I went ahead and picked up the Clorox Greenworks dishwashing liquid in Water Lily. Now this is my second one, and let me tell you, this smells so delicious. I absolutely love it. I am fascinated with how well it smells. It's 97% naturally derived and um, it cleans the dishes really well and it makes my hands smell amazing. So I love this and I'm happy I found it. Another cleaning product that I don't think I've bought in a while since this last shopping trip was the Lysol, the Lysol Toilet Bowl Cleaner. And see, that's what this one is. And this one um, says, let me see. To clean it, you um, just coat the bow with the disinfectant and scrub um, to disinfect. You let it sit 10 minutes and sanitize, you let it sit 30 minutes. So what I found is when I put this in my toilets um, at night after everybody was in bed and just let it sit there, oh my God, they were so white. and. I'm for products that are disinfecting, that are bleach-like. I really like whitening products, and I don't mind using something like this in the in the commodes because um, you really do want it to get sanitized and disinfected. This worked beautifully, and I'm definitely going to buy another one very, very soon. And then I got this February duster like, I don't know, a month ago, maybe two months ago. It's a glove, it fits right on your hand. It's got a little spot for your thumb too. And you can dust your furniture, your ceiling fans. Gotta be careful, I don't wanna get dust on it. And you can also wash it. And it's got this cute little sleeve and this has been so handy. I've sprayed it with some spray sometimes and dusted with it and um, I really like it. I'm so glad I got it. Um, you can tell it's not really wore out yet, but it does a great job. So that has been added to my cleaning supplies and I love it. Um, it makes the job super simple and who wants to spend a lot of time dusting? Um, and I love that it's rewashable. I put these in to show you. I am um, still using and loving the Cascade Platinums. Now I don't like the kind that you pour in like powder or the kind you squeeze. I don't think the powder works as good, at least not in our dishwasher. And the kind you squeeze always hurts my hands. So these little tablets, the Cascade Premiums, clean so well. Um, I don't, I hate to say this, but the cheaper version of these that even Cascade makes doesn't hold a candle. These work so well. I go through numerous packages of these a month and they make my life so much easier. So now let's move into pets. And my pets have still 
been eating and loving the Imes chicken dry food. Plus the Imes wet and the Friskies wet. Right now they do have good life in their bowl, but they have another bag of this. And you know, cats are, are very sensitive animals when it comes to digestion. They can get sick super easy. Cats throw up hairballs. It's just part of it. And it's nice to find a food that does help digestion and this Imes um, does. Chicken is the number one ingredient on this and my cats really love it and it's, you know, high protein and they seem to really enjoy it. So I recently gave Cooper a lion cut and I used the Oysters um, Cordless Power Advanced Clippers. I showed that in a video and how I did it. You can click right here just in case you're interested in checking it out. It will open to another window so you can watch that after this video. But these come with the clippers themselves. I think it comes with four of the safety combs, the oil, the case, a CD, of course the metal clipper up at the top. And they worked great on all of our animals. I think if you live in a place where it gets really hot or um, you have and or you have a long haired dog, it's really nice to give them a summer trim. I really cut Cooper short and by fall he's all grown out again. But if that's not something you want to do, giving them a trim on their bellies will really help them stay cool, especially on long haired animals. So I used this on him and all the other cats in the house and they um, seemed much more comfortable. It didn't overheat, it worked beautifully and I'm very thankful I got these. I found these at Walmart. $50 and they're they worked great Another um, item in terms of hair that we have been loving is the fur remover duo I think we found this at Walmart also again dogs or cats with long hair are going to shed more in the summer months they're going to try to get you know shed off that undercoat this works great with these very thick dense teeth to get that extra fur out and this part on this side works really great around their faces or just to work on the top layer of the hair this removes a ton of hair and we have one that i can't remember the name of it it's it fits in your hand like almost like like this and it's rubber it basically does the same thing and it removes a lot of the hair you'll be amazed with how much hair you get off of your animals with this so this is another new product that we've just been using and loving with our animals so love that also cooper has been on um, these Cosm, I don't know, Cosaquin DS um, joint health supplement. So, a golden retriever does have hip problems a lot of times, and we started noticing it with him. He's seven years old. We worry about him a lot. He's definitely a part of our family, and we just started trying this. We're also giving him vitamin E oil, and this one is in maximum strength, and he takes three a day, and you know, do I notice anything yet? Not technically, but I think they have to be on them for a while. So I'm hoping on month two, which we've already got another box waiting, um, we will see a difference and maybe his hips won't hurt so much. So I've been loving that. Another item I got this past month was the Cucamuncha Catnip Bubbles. And oh my gosh, I thought my cats would love these, but they sadly don't. They are not interested. They don't care that it smells like catnip. I think they would rather just have the good old catnip. So as much as I wanted to like these for my kitty cats and as much as I wanted them to like them, they just are not interested at all. Okay, so let's move on into food items. So I don't have much, at least I don't think. Um, well, maybe. I'm trying to gather them up here. So I got this Harvest Organic Applesauce. I love the Harvest Farms products. Um, I love applesauce and I thought I would really like this, um, but I don't. It's so bland. It's just one of those things that you have to try and for me this is just disappointing. So even though it's organic and I know it's better for me, I switched back to my good old Mott's Original Applesauce, which I love. Um, and I eat a lot of organic, especially when it comes to um, fruits and vegetables, but I can't do this. And if this is what organic applesauce tastes like, um, I'm skipping. I'm just 
very unimpressed with this. If you tried it and like it, let me know. It's just, just not for me. And this one, and it does have more sugar. I know it does. So let's see. I don't think this has 18 grams of sugar and this one has 25. So there's not a huge difference. They both have sugar in them. And this one has about 20 more calories per serving than this one. But I just can't stand this one. So it's back to Mott's and I love Mott's. So I guess I should have just left it well alone. Um, tea wise. I thought I put two out here. There it is. I have a huge tea collection. I love trying new teas. And here lately, the one I've really been enjoying is the Tezo Wild Sweet Orange. This is really delicious. It's got the juices of an orange um, and hibiscus flowers and lemongrass in it. And just as beautiful flavors. And it has a beautiful aroma. I don't have many left. I have four or five, no, six, six. So I got six more cups and um, I love it. So I've been drinking that. Another one that I've been drinking is the Whitford Russian Carvon. It's not Caravan, but it's Carvon. And this is a medium strength tea. It's really, really good. Um, it smells amazing. It's another black tea and um, I love it. So those are the two teas I've been drinking this past month. I'm really trying my hardest to drink the teas that I have up before buying more, which is so hard. Another food item that we have just been loving is the premium grade Nishiki Sushi Rice. So I make sticky rice with this. I use this with Asian meals um, that I make here at home. I love it. And it's a beautiful rice. It tastes amazing. It cooks really lovely. And I even did a crock pot recipe with this rice making sticky rice in the crock pot. You can click right here if you're interested in seeing it. Um, it was delicious. So it's it's one of my favorites. We've been buying it almost every month here lately. Another thing we tried was the French's Crunch Time Entree Sweet and Sour um, packet. And we used this on pork and it was so good. It was real simple. Um, you only needed some flour and your pork and an egg and it just tasted delicious. My family really liked it. It's not something we'll do every month, but it's something that worked, you know, a few weeks ago and they really loved it. So I'm glad they enjoyed that. Um, recently I've been shopping at Walmart because I haven't had a lot of meat to buy. I generally don't like Walmart's meat and I bought some strip steaks there. I wish I would have saved them to do a review on. I think they were from Maple Farms. They were like vacuum packed. I don't know if you guys saw that in my haul, but let me tell you, they were not that good. And they were not, um, steaks that I will probably ever buy again. But I have been comparing quite a few items and... I usually like eh, the Lando Lakes butter for every day, the salted sweet cream butter. I love it. But I did go ahead and get the Great Value sweet cream butter. And this was like almost $2 cheaper. And I kid you not, I cannot tell a difference. My family cannot tell a difference. Um, I did a taste test on them and they couldn't tell a difference between the butter. So I know Lando Lakes probably would definitely not like that, but I give props to Walmart's sweet cream salted butter because it tastes exactly the same. So save your money and buy the Walmart. Um, even though it's summer, I still love a good cup of hot chocolate some nights. And sometimes I like some hot chocolate mixed in my coffee. And I bought this um, Giardelli premium hot cocoa mix a while back and I've been drinking of that also here lately at night. So like I said, sometimes in the morning in my coffee, it's delicious. This one is in chocolate mocha and I love it. My son loves it and we love it in any season, especially, you know, of course fall and winter, but it's really good. So we've been drinking it here lately. Um, the last thing from food, I think, um, is Coke reward points. Now, 
I know Coke is not the healthiest option, but we drink a lot of Coke in this house, and especially me. And I love the Coke reward points. If you are a Coke drinker, definitely save your points because you can get like free holiday cards and such every fall or winter. You can do it for birthday cards. Um, and I just love the deals I get with photo um, projects, if you will, from like Shutterfly with the Coke Rewards products or Rewards um, program. So keep that in mind if you drink Coke like I do. Oh, also, let's see, household wise that I forgot to mention was this. This is a wooden drying rack. And I bought this a while ago. I've had one of these for so many years. And I love these. It's the perfect time of year for almost everybody to cut their electric bill down just a little bit. When you can, hang things outside. This is what the drying rack looks like. You don't even have to have a laundry line. You can use this, put your clothes out, get nice, clean, fresh smelling laundry, and save some money at the same time. So I am a huge fan of drying racks. Okay, so books wise, and I'm almost done. I only had books, my purse, and sandals I'm going to share with you. Um, I have been loving, of course, my Erin Condren Life Planner. So I recently received an email from Erin Condren. Her new 2014-2015 planner will be available next week. It's got interchangeable faces, which I don't know. I don't know if I'll use that much. It's got all kinds of new and different um, accessories that go with it. And I love mine. I have been using it. I started out actually using it just for a blog and YouTube planner. And now it's my everyday planner. But I'm ordering another one next week. I can't wait to share that with you. And um, I love this. So I've been using it like crazy every single day. Numerous times a day. I've also still been reading my prayer books. My morning prayer book and my night prayer book. These really help um, put me in the right state of mind before um, I start my day and before I go to sleep. I read these and they make me feel better. Other books, um, well, one book that I finished up is The Shack. Just in case you didn't see it, I put up a new review on my this channel and my blog. The link is right here and it was a really good book. Um, it's very controversial and I just really enjoyed it. I'm starting a new book. I also have a giveaway going on with this book and the new book that I'm starting. So definitely check out that video. Check out my blog post to get entered. And if you have time, find a way to read this book because it's really eye-opening and I think everybody who reads it will pull out something specifically just for them that they need to hear or see or, you know, read that will be suspicious very um, specific to their own lives. So, love this. Thank you, Kirsten, for sending it to me. I'll be sending it back soon. And I've also been loving, loving, loving the Martha Stewart Living Magazine. So, I get these in every month. I don't pay for them. I would pay for Martha Stewart Magazines, though, and Oprah's if I didn't find them free. But... Um, I get them free every month, and I post those deals on my blog. You can check those out. Just click on the link at the top that says freebies. Um, the summer recipes and ideas are just amazing. They always are. Martha's the queen, and I love her magazines. Okay, so the sandals I have been wearing most often this month are my, like, Dr. Soul's, is that is it? Dr. Soul's cushion insole shoes. I don't know. I can't remember. I bought these like a couple years ago. They are like the Dr. Soul's shoes and I paid a little bit more for them and they are so comfortable. I have wore them, you know, when they're wet. I have wore them in theme parks. I wore them a lot and they are so comfortable. They don't have much of a heel on them, but they are great everyday sandals. I wear them around the house. I walk the dog in them. They don't rub anywhere. They are so soft and cushiony that they really conform to your feet and they are a season favorite. I've had these for a few years and absolutely love that my toe hooks. I don't like the kind that just like has the string between the toes a whole lot, but these feel amazing on and I love them. Now, even though it doesn't match, the purse that I have went to here lately, I think ever since our trip up north, is this one. 
And this is kind of like my black, kind of like boho bag. It's very, very light and airy. Even though it's black, I've still been loving it for this late spring, early summer. And black's a color I think you can carry anytime. White purses and me don't really get along really well, but this one is just comfy and slouchy and it will hold a lot and I've been using it here for the past month. So those are my household favorites. I hope you guys maybe saw some things you might want to try or get some ideas um, on some different products maybe you didn't know so much about. And um, I will be back tomorrow with my beauty favorites. I'm planning on filming outside if it's pretty. It's my favorite place to film and um, I love hearing the birds and enjoying the fresh air. So I will be back with those tomorrow and I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. We have a very busy week ahead of us, well, weekend ahead of us, because we're taking Jackson to his dad's on Sunday, so it's going to be busy, but I've already got the videos all lined up for the rest of the week, and um, we should be fine, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, please take a second to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.